All right, so I'm just gonna start the video. Let's talk about the title here. Uh, not being able to play MMOs. Have you ever felt that you just weren't allowed to exist? Your lifestyle inside of an MMO just was not looked at favorably so that people would allow you to play with them to actually do the end game content or do this and do that people shunned you or kicked you out of groups or removed you from guilds or something like that have you ever felt that just just because you doing what you want to do just wasn't good enough in order to actually play the full game and i'm not saying that you yourself aren't skilled enough but you aren't doing something that people really want and you kind of need people to play the game so people aren't playing with you and let's just run down a couple examples here so maybe one is you're a tank and you want to learn how to do end game dungeons so how do you do that do you sit and look up guides constantly and review youtube videos constantly or do you just run in and try to understand and puzzle out the mechanics uh firsthand well, properly, everyone expects you to just memorize the fight before you even play it, but the best way to play games really is to play the games. And it really is a, a huge toxic environment inside of games like World of Warcraft, even Guild Wars 2, Final Fantasy XIV, when you don't have, especially Final Fantasy XIV, because they're very memorization based, rhythm game almost. If you don't have things memorized, then people just won't let you play. So if you're a tank and you are a tank player, you actually, probably to play the game, need to switch to DPS, play the dungeon a few times, and then you're allowed to upgrade to tank. Does that, that, that seem like that really sucks? Next, what about healing? You're playing as a healer, and healing generally is kind of a slower leveling unless you're playing with a group, but it's really hard to find a dedicated group to play with sometimes, and, um, you know, you're trying to jump in, you're probably actually using systems in play such as looking for dungeon or something like that, looking for group, uh, where you're trying to play as a healer, but maybe you haven't kept up with the rest of the group, maybe they're speedrunning, maybe, uh, they are just, uh, they're, they're running through the, the game, uh, they're much higher geared or something like that, and you're not healing them, uh, you know, to keep up with the pace of them, so they end up kicking you from the dungeon you i mean yeah everyone needs healers everyone wants healers so it's not hard to find new groups but at the same time i don't know like i mean if you don't have good enough gear if it's dps tank or i mean otherwise then sometimes like people will just be like no you're you're not geared enough to play with us so you can't you are not allowed to play the game until you have i guess played a different part of the game enough times until you can start playing with everyone else even though, like, you probably could do it, it's just they want to be most optimal. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's it's just so cancer. How about some other ways, uh, like in sandbox MMOs, right? Sandbox MMOs, generally, you got to do the grunt work. Generally, they're big guilds, and you got a lot of people who need to uh, get materials, who need to craft, who need to do this and that, and you basically got to do a lot of chores. And if you're not doing your chores, you get kicked from the game. But me, maybe I'm somebody who I just want to spend all day practicing PvP. I just want to get really good at the PvP. You know, if you want to make, if you want to craft, if you want to go out and gather and stuff, that's really fun. But I just want to duel. I just want to duel all day. I just want to get really good at my mechanics. And I just want to join in the guild versus guild stuff. Or do in the PvP, the zergs, and running around and ganking stuff. Um, but if I don't do my chores, or if you don't do your chores, then the guild will be like, Yo, dude, you're not pulling your weight. You know, that this game has all these systems in place, um, the guild needs to, you know, live and breathe, uh, you're not in the Discord every day or whatever, they'll kick you. And then let's actually branch on that, just in general, just in general, what if you are a casual gamer? That doesn't mean you are an unskilled gamer. For some reason, MMO players have this misconception where if you play a game longer, you deserve much better rewards, you deserve to be a better player, but just playing more does not make you better, that you are not a more skilled player, or debatably even more knowledgeable actually you know with proper research and proper i would say perfect practice then you can get really really good at a certain thing but anyways so some people think that you need to play constantly if you are not playing as much as them then simply you are kicked from the group or you cannot join their group and mmos are group games if it's zergs if it's raiding if it's doing end game dungeons or like pvp uh, or you know rated pvp something somewhere somehow even sometimes just like speed leveling or something like that if you aren't you know at their level people will just completely uh shun you now some people will say oh no there's discords out there to for experienced players to help new players there's video guides and there there is there's a lot of resources outside of a game to help new players get to the point where they can begin to play the real game but it that's that's my that's my rant basically is i am not allowed to play an mmo 
so that I can play the MMO. And it's already the case, basically, that MMOs don't really teach you how to play the MMO portion of itself. You know, like, if you play World of Warcraft, the leveling is not endgame. The leveling teaches you, like, basically the vehicle controls. It teaches you, you're, you're learning how to drive, but... You know, uh, you're, you're not actually on the highway, you're not actually working, you're not actually doing the real shit. Uh, you know, when you actually get to the end game, it's, it's a totally different thing. And basically, to, to really play the game, you have to look up guides, you have to memorize things, you have to absorb yourself in a community that's basically outside of the game. And that's, you know, that that's kind of cool, that's a rant and a ramble to be had, too. Like, MMOs are more than just the game itself, the, the literal pressing buttons and things like that. There's a lot of good to go on. You know, form warriors, it's part of the lifestyle, I love it. But at the same time, I am basically making this rant to say, it sucks. It fucking sucks. I hate it. I hate that, especially as a, t I gotta admit it, I'm a tank player, I like playing tank, it sucks that I'm not allowed to just level by, you know, tanking, and then carry that experience and go forward with it. Maybe with some guilds and some people you can do that, and I definitely, that's what I'm gonna suggest, guys, is you need to find people who not, are not experienced are not well-grown and groomed guilds. Instead, find people who are similar to you, who are newer to the game or are at, at a similar experience level who, and then play with them. And don't, don't expect them to play all the time and don't have people that expect you to play all the time. Just, you know, find new groups and you can. You can join Discord, you can, have, you can make pickup groups outside the game and you can find people um, if you are honest about it, like, hey, I'm a first time tank, I'm learning this, who else wants to run this dungeon for the first time? So I'm be like, oh, I'm new too, you know, let's do this together. And that is the best experiences that you can have. Uh, that's actually what I did with Guild Wars 2, if you guys were there for the adventure party club thing that we did for uh, Guild Wars 2, as well as Planet Side 2. It's a lot of fun. The magic of MMOs is the magic of discovery. It's mystery, it's the, it's the doing it for the first time and learning those mechanics. So, what really fucking sucks is when you do all this grind and grunt work, or you're, you're on YouTube, and you're looking up videos, and you're basically just like demystifying the magic before you even get a chance to actually play it, before you actually get to do it, or ever get to do it. And you, and you really kind of like sully the experience too, when you have a little bit of a reward, and like you're just doing mindless grind and mindless grunt work, or boring research and studying, before you even, you know, you, you get to do it, and then it's like, oh, you know, that was an hour of fun, versus an entire week of bullshit. I hate that. So yes, what I implore you do is you go on Discord and use these social tools and social media, YouTube, stuff like that. Even in the comments, you can find people. So find friends, find family, and play games like that. People who are similar to you. Uh, however, this rant needs to continue on because I think MMOs, and some MMOs have certain features that allow you to, to ease of access, but MMOs need to do the work for us. Um, so all, all that effort that we have to put, like, you know, in Discord and stuff like that, or research guides on YouTube, or even include add-ons like in World of Warcraft and Elder Scrolls Online, where we have to have these add-ons that basically tell us, you know, how a fight works and give us warnings and pings and stuff like that. This stuff should be all inside of the game. And especially now, with this genre being like two decades old, really, we should be at a point now where, you know, people are literally making these add-ons and making these guides and stuff for us. Put it in the fucking game. We need also tools basically for guilds, for guilds to be able to separate new players and have them put together. Maybe even stuff that, which I actually see in a few Eastern games where you are put into a noob guild. As soon as you start a, a new character, a new class um, or something, you're put into a new guild where all the new players play together and all the new players can make friends together because they're all leveling together and then they can play the end game together and discover all the mechanics and the world and the magic all together. That's what an MMO is about. An MMO is not about one guy who's played for five years telling you every little thing, you know, micromanaging everything that you do with your entire life inside the MMO. That's not playing the game. That's just following orders. An MMO is about player expression. It's about you, uh, your art with your gameplay, with your character, the role that you play within the universe and ecosystem within that. That includes your decisions, what you actually do, your expression, your player expression. And just listening to guides and just having people bark at you, that removes your player expression and that removes the magic of the MMO, in my opinion. 
So we need tools for new players to play with new players, and we also should have proper matchmaking for experienced players to just play with experienced players. Things like looking for a dungeon or looking for raid, especially in the end game, that is basically just, it's its its crazy. It's, it's You have experienced players, you have new players, you have all this random stuff going on, um, and, it's, and it makes people very salty. I mean, could you imagine if you played League of Legends and you were a diamond player and you got matched with a bronze player? Yeah, that's very obviously a, a bad thing. That's why PvP games have matchmaking because duh and it's just weird that co-op games generally don't do that especially in rpgs where you're gonna have people with oh, crazy ridiculous item levels and stuff like that like warframe matchmaking is garbage um you know monster hunter it can be really ridiculous even too so i'm really surprised that more games don't have systems to actually match make players so that their cooperative experience is similar like they're kin they're they're brothers and sisters discovering this game for the first time we need those systems in place and not only that but honestly the game design so it's like the in, in the first month of any like game design course if you go to college uh, which i did for full sale university laugh at me whatever for profit school but basically the first thing that, even if you just look on youtube the first thing that you learn about game design they'll basically reference mario level one one and they just basically talk about hey your game, as you play it, it should teach the player how to play it. And there's there's a bunch of games that are just famous for this, but of course Mario is famous for it. It's just very obvious, it's very clean, it's very clear. And some MMOs do this better than others, but for the most part, I would frankly rank every single MMO as garbage tier. Garbage tier. They do not teach you how to play the game. And yet, at the same time, they're easy, basically. You just walk through the game and that's the problem. You walk through the game and then you finally get to the end game, which some people would call the real game because you start to really need other players. You start to really cooperate uh, and compare yourself to other players and compete with them even. And that's the problem is you can't compete and you literally can't even cooperate. People will not let you play the game because you haven't learned the game and it's not your fault. And at the same time, like because you haven't learned the game th there becomes this really ridiculous invisible giant mountainous wall of like fear um and I actually just did a video about this titled like mmos that you're afraid of and one of the things was end game of world of warcraft of raiding a lot of people finish the quest lines they finish that and then they're done a lot of people won't play tanks they won't play healers um or they won't play certain parts of mmos because they're afraid because of the pressure their responsibility and yet all that would be alleviated if there was just these systems in place that we do see in pvp games with rankings with ladders with proper tutorials with better uis with frankly just better game design but mmos have really skated away and gotten away easy by just kind of making arbitrary worlds and systems that make people kind of barely a little bit kind of intermediate mingle just enough so that they can call themselves MMOs and then really the real game and the real art and the real uniquity of the title such as Final Fantasy 14 World of Warcraft um, especially those two games it's the end game it's the dungeons it's the hardcore shit that's the real stuff why didn't the game start like that why did why doesn't the game really prepare you for that yeah it, it just boggles my freaking brain balls so what do you guys think about that? Do you also feel this fear um, and pressure when it comes to MMOs? Because these are socially engaging games, and yet the introduction, the start, and generally the meat of the game seems to be not very social, not to really push you out of your comfort zone, and not really too much in the way of discovery either when it comes to really special systems, um, such as like the unique mechanics and gimmicks inside the end game of World of Warcraft. You don't see any of that leveling you know you don't really have to push your class you can probably just spam one single ability and run through the entire game actually that's a lot a lot of fighting games do that too but it's, it's not just mmos that do this but basically mmos are the ones where you feel the most pressure at least in a fighting game you can sit there in lab you can sit there and lose and lose and lose until you get good you can in a lot of games just play uh with other people you get match make with people who are just as bad as you and then you can play until you guys are good but in mmos you either know the content and people let you play or you don't know the content but you generally don't get the opportunity to learn to grow to prosper and that's really the special fantasy of what makes MMO special is that feeling of progression it's not just stats it's not just grinding there is a player expression there of, of growth of learning um that at the end game, um, whenever, you know, serious stuff can actually happen. The real game of MMOs, playing really with a massive community, a guild, and, and playing with, with people competitively, that all of a sudden there's a giant wall. And you essentially have to log out, watch videos, and study 
and have people bark at you in order for you to begin to kind of play the game and then are you even playing? And that's that's really my rant. I feel that I can't play MMOs. I can't. And even though I'm a skilled player, I have infinite time, I make money playing MMOs, I still feel this way. So what about people who just don't have much time? You know, they're learning, they're learning program. I'm learning programming right now, but you know, they're busy with school. They're busy with family, raising a kid. I don't know. Or maybe even as a kid with infinite time, I'm sure you still feel this pressure. Again, I have infinite time. I make money doing this. I feel this pressure. Everyone I'm sure feels this pressure of not being able to play the game. And even if you, again, there's ways to bypass it. You can brute force it, but can't it be better? Just just because things could be worse, that, could things be better? And that's what I really what I want to say. So if you guys have any tips or tricks for players to get past that barrier, that boundary, I myself am working through it. Um, I really do enjoy looking for raids, looking for groups. I really do enjoy meeting new people. So often I don't join guilds uh, specifically unless they're hyper social or very large guilds. But in the end, um, you know, if you guys have any tips or tricks, please leave it in the comments below. This is a community effort itself about community efforts. So please help us. Uh, thank you so much for listening to my rant. This is just how I feel. Literally, I don't really have a solution. I don't really have any way for um, any specific way to kind of constructively criticize this other than this is a thing that sucks and it has always fucking sucked about MMOs especially in the modern era where they're becoming uh, more hard at the end and easier in the beginning um, and we have more people playing in this genre so what can we do as players and consumers to get around it and how can we be more vocal to developers specifically in what we want to fix um, do you want like literal matchmaking do you think looking for rage to just disappear should we just completely rely on social stuff like discord what should we do? Let me know, Keyboard Warriors, in the comments below. But that's pretty much it. Um, hey, MMOs are cool. They're fun. But, you know, yeah, we, we, there, there's some things we got to game around, right? Anyways, much love. Keep the hype alive. Like and subscribe and Patreon and stuff. Guys, I will see you again next time.